in the hotel, yeah. open different rooms, yeah. different areas. And I was doing the breakfast shift, and one lady came down and she said, uh, I had someone sat on the bed next to me last night. And she was on her own, so I said, Oh, that's very strange. She said, I could feel the weight of them sitting on the bed. There was no one there. I yeah. thought, Okay, that's fine. So, after a couple of hours, another lady came down. They'd never met each other before, I'll just point out. And she said, A funny thing last night, she says, I had someone sat on the bed with me. Oh. This is the same morning. And she said, I shouted, Go away, and it did. So. Leave that We'd say, you. come here, stay close to us. That's Louise, by the way. Get her in the video. Oh, hi. <laughs> that's your friendly neighbour, the housekeeper. Hello, Louise. Hello. Will you take you to room 11? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> uh, right, so, this is the dreaded room 11. It's I wish we'd known about this before we... um. Well, if we if we known you were coming, we're going to arrange something. We might be able to um, do something on our last night, Anne. Yes, we might be able to get what the other ones have got. Look at this. Wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What was the, the story in this particular room? Well, this particular room was supposed to have a trap door in the bottom. Ah. Uh, which uh, ah. disposed of the guests by a bolt in the bottom of the bed that was pulled out. Guests, when they were fast asleep and full of ale, were tumbled down into the vat of boiling oil. Oh my god! They disposed of the body, make all their worldly goods, and cover everything up. But there you are. The, the, wow, the history in this room is just blows my mind. Look, we must like, oh, kids at a candy shop. <laughs> 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 Look, Renato, I'll even share a bed with you to come back and stay here. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Um, it does feel much, much weirder as you're walking in to the room. We do have very uneven floors, so yeah. because of the age of the place, obviously, but that would give you that sense of, mm. I call it the funhouse effect, where everything feels mm. off balance. <coughs> <coughs> So what's the freakiest thing you've seen here? Oh, no, okay. Louise has heard voices. Louisa. Oh, you've heard voices. But she's not going to say what to see if you hear them. <laughs> Do you swear words in there, is it? Yeah, voices in my head. Um, I heard voice in this room and the room downstairs. Yeah. This room terrified me. I ran, ran. Really? Yeah, because you can hear how quiet it is in here, and it's mm. really loud. I don't know what it said, but it's really loud, and it was very close to me. And um, yeah, I sort of froze, and I was like, hang on a minute, I'm the only human in here. And just went on, out straight out the door, shaking. Yeah. I've got a digital recorder, should be, well, you're the, the, the medium, what are you doing yeah. here? Yeah, uh, I'm just hearing, here's another one. Here's another one. It's not us, we're not the, mm. not the rich pigs. <laughs> the fat pigs, isn't that what they call mm -hmm. them? Yeah. There's another fat pig. I'm just feeling a lot of frustration from the woman, the wife. I don't know whether she was into it to begin with. She may well have been later on when money started pouring in. Yeah? But when money started pouring in, maybe her demeanour changed with it. But to begin with, she wasn't into it. It used to make her feel really ill. She, she would feel really sick because that's what I felt out there. I felt like she was wanting to vomit every time she wanted to come in here to kind of, you know, be a part of this whole task. But then at some point something changed and she became as ruthless and as horrible as, as her husband to do it all. But I don't think to begin with she had anything. <gasps> okay. Oh, don't you love it when she does that? <laughs> Do we know if they had any children? <gasps> I, don't, I don't know. That you heard a little girl and a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm getting something about children with her. I think oh that at some point in time she may have lost a child. And that's what's turned her. 
that's the point when, when she became a changed woman. Because there's something about a child. Oh, God, there's so many tears now. I'm not coming in this room on my own. Anymore. Um, there's something about a little child that is really, really heartfelt with her. She can't let go of this. And that's, that's a real sadness. And it's interesting because I see her hang on to two as she walks up and down the stairs. But then there is one. I can't get the internet to hold in this room, so it's really interesting. It's like, no. They don't <laughs> really want is. you. Yeah, they don't want you to. That's okay. I think they both argued a lot, the husband and the wife as well. And I think that she would have felt her life threatened at some point in time. Because it's like I actually feel his hands around her throat. So he was a nasty piece of work. She was the one that had some sort of empathy here, but it didn't last long. He whacked that out of her. But they were in it together, and that's what he was saying. They're in it together. We are in it together, for better or for worse. This is what we're doing. You would never think if you walked into this room that it has any sort of history about it mm. which is a good thing and most people who would come in here would not pick it up but there is this real trepidation as you're walking just down this hallway here there's this like it's feeling of being stopped I want to stop I want to stop I don't want to walk in here uh, and I think that is from her with the actual way they were killed, though, like the people themselves wouldn't have had the anticipation <coughs> or the fear that they were about to die. Yeah. So therefore, that doesn't soak into this room as such. Yeah. So people in here may not pick up on it as much, I reckon. Mm. Although they may be aware of um, the people who have died so many days. Some of them probably don't realise they're dead. Mm. It would have happened so quickly if they chopped off their heads. Oh, my God. So you may have just lost souls that are wandering. She's, she's thinking. Yeah, because I'm picking, about some, uh, picking up something about the grog downstairs, the bar and the grog. Do you have a cellar here as well? Mm -hmm. Something about the cellar. The cellar's on the ground floor now. Yeah. They were, yeah, they were, the, 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 something about, yeah, something about the cellar being used. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So there was no trace of them? Yep. Yeah, the cellar was used for some particular parts of all of this story and history. People found out about it. They were paying off people to keep them quiet. So whether they were actually giving them food or grog to keep them quiet about what was happening around here as well. That was the locals. So more than them knew what was going on. Interesting. Have you ever found anything on the site that would it was like part artifacts or related to it? Related to it. I think there still is. There, there was a rumor about a book. No, but there was a rumor of a book uh, diary in the, in the uh, attic, ah. which was checked out and couldn't be found. So but that was a big thing about this book that was in the attic. To me, there's something still here. They're also telling me that there is something still here that dates back and harkens back to those times, and will give you further information. You may well come upon it. I'll ask them to lead you to something before I go. There's something still here. And to me, and because I'm being shown gold as well, 
there's like a, something of gold, whether it is a old remnant of jewellery, a bracelet, a ring. Because they used to really be rushed off her feet, and this is what... Oh, 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 okay, oh, okay. She used to have trouble getting the gold and jewellery off people's fingers before they did the deed. So one of her tasks was to take everything off them that could be sold. Because I'm seeing her struggling with a particular ring off a fat man's hand. His, his fingers are really, like, bulging and fatty. And she's, she's swearing her head off because she can't get this freaking ring off. And it's like it's actually got a red stone, like a little ruby in it. And that was an issue. Just get, getting rid of this. Stash, you know, the thing that you said's missing, I know what it is. She was putting a little stash away for herself, but her husband didn't know that. Oh! <laughs> <gasps> it could be in one of the walls or a little cavity around here. It is she, a doorway that's boarded up. There's, there's nothing there, isn't there? Just by the stairs. We were just talking about it. No, that. We don't know how to talk about that. <laughs> Okay. It's a little thorn which is out of bounds to staff oh, due to a structural defect in the flooring. It's out of bounds and you're not even allowed to open it. That's okay. Have they padlocked it now? Well, look at the door. At the top of the stairs, yeah, the there used to be a door. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have a look at our diaries and work out what we can cancel. Just, I just want you to have a look at this room. Yeah, we're coming, we're coming. I just want to. I'm sure if we show guests this. It's not going there. It was never repaired because it's. It's got that really old smell. I'm not going to take. I'm just going to finish up now. The rest of our story is going to be. Secret. Yeah, so you're not going to be able to see it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.